Cisco ASA V, VPN, AnyConnect, and Umbrella. So this is the integration. This is now we're starting to tie up uh, the security aspects of our roaming user. So there's documentation here. You can certainly review that. Uh, all we need from here is to download the JSON file and that's gonna be used in uh, ASDM uh, on the ASA to integrate with um, AnyConnect. So remember, ASAV is just the topic, but it could be any ASA, ASA platform regardless. So we've downloaded the file. We're good there. The one thing that you want to make sure is that you actually go through and um, identify your internal domains because what you want that if you have the client, what you want to have happen is is that it uses your DNS internal DNS server for resolution for your internal domains. So that's why you have to come in and classify those domains internally. Once you've done that, you're going to build out a policy, and I'm not going to walk through the policy build in this. Uh, video. I've got other videos that, that certainly cover this, but I'll just quickly show you that there is a roaming policy. They're very easy. It's next, 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 next type stuff. Um, but uh, basically what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make sure the identity of roaming clients is tied to a uh, policy. In this case, there is one already. And I'm gonna make sure that I at least have DNS layer security. So I'm gonna enable all these categories. Again, you would uh, determine what's best for your organization. And there's some other settings that you can enable to further secure that connection. And this is gonna ensure that when the user connects, that um, uh, if you're split tunneling or things like that, that they're still protected, right? When they make a DNS request and it's known bad, uh, we're going to block it or if they're not even connected to VPN right we're going to protect them so we're in any connect client profile and what we're going to do is define a client profile here called any connect umbrella profile you can name it whatever you want profile usage if we go to browse now we're not going to find the uh, JSON file right because we haven't uploaded it yet so let's cancel out of here and let's upload now All right, upload file. And this integration is pretty seamless. There's no reboot on the endpoint uh, when you push out the new uh, agent or the module, I should say. Tie it to the group policy. Apply. And there's one more step that we need to do. So I'm just getting ready because we're going to get close to testing here. So let's go into group policy. We have to actually tell it what module to push. So if you're wondering what that org info.json does, that's what when the request goes to Umbrella, that's how Umbrella identifies your organization, applies the proper policy for your org. So go in here, add the module, in this case Umbrella. Okay, apply. And you can see there's no uh, umbrella module added here. So let's uh, disconnect, reconnect. This is second factor uh, using Duo here. Now we can see that it's actually now starting to deploy the umbrella roaming client. You can see it's disabled. It's connected now. Let's just see what's happening here. If everything's working right, that should turn green. Oh, there it is. Umbrella is active. Now you can use trusted network detection to ensure that you know, when you're connected to VPN, it's using the internal instance of Umbrella. When you're on-premise, it uses the internal instance of Umbrella. And when you're off-premise, it uses um, the Umbrella client. And here we tested it, and it's uh, working as expected. Pretty easy, added layer security for those roaming users.